Hey everyone, Sibet so here, and today we're going to take a look at Drum Computer by Sugabyte. And in this video, I want to focus on two things, um, and that's mainly how easy is it to use Drum Computer, and uh, more interesting to me is how to use the sequencer with other drum plugins. Uh, there's already a ton of coverage of uh, Drum Computer out there on the interwebs. So I uh, do definitely invite you to check out the Sugarbytes um, own YouTube channel if you want to learn everything about all the parameters for all the uh, synth engines of drum computers. It's pretty deep and there's a lot to talk about. Not the stuff I want to talk about today. Uh, today I just want to focus on how quickly can you get results from drum computer. And from that you can look for yourself whether or not uh, this is for you. And equally important is how easy is it to use Drum Computer uh, with other software because that is what really piqued my interest because Drum Computer has a very cool sequencer uh, and using that sequencer with uh, Drum VSTs that have less interesting sequencers can be very powerful. So let's dive into part one first. Let's talk a little bit about sound out of Drum Computer and for this, we are going to use the age-old and well-proven technique of pressing a randomize to see what happens. Uh, this is, of course, a very reliable way to uh, judge plugins because you get to experience the full randomness and hopefully the full scope of what a VST does. Uh, it's also a very lazy way to make content, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so let's get in there and let's press start. Uh, right now, this is a default patch. I haven't touched it yet. And we're just going to randomize a bit and see what happens. Uh, I'll leave the sequencer open so you can see the sequence here. Uh, just do a little bit of this. That's always fun. And uh, let's see what happens. Aside from randomizing the entire kit, you can also randomize just specific parts of the kit. Uh, and this can be useful if you have a few bits you like, like this drop is pretty cool. That's pretty nice. That works, I guess. That's all right. That's cool. That's cool. Not a fan. And that's all right. So let's do a little bit of randomizing of uh, this thing and that thing. And for that, we have this little button here. Now, the sad thing is if you click the button, it doesn't play back the sound. I think that's the best opportunity. That would have been really cool if you click randomize that you hear the sound. So you can just quickly click through randomize instead of having to press the button to hear what happened. But let's hone into a complete kit that works for us. Ooh. 
and much like you can randomize the uh, kit or the instruments you can also randomize in the sequencer uh, different parameters so right now we're messing around with the pitch uh, let's actually solo this thing <laughs> So it's a pretty quick way to dial in different sounds. Uh, this is already a pretty fun kit, so we're just going to save it. And we're just going to randomize a little bit more. And as you can see, there's quite a range of sounds that a uh, drum computer puts out. I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I found personally that even just hitting randomize and not really putting any filter into it, you can get a lot of cool sounds from room computer. Um, it tends to be especially good at the percussive sounds. Uh, it gives very interesting layered sounds. So that's, I think, one of the strong suits of this thing. Uh, I've read a lot of feedback saying that there's not enough deep bass stuff going on and that it lacks some low end. And for that, we're going to neatly transition into the next part and that's actually using drum computer to trigger other drum software because if there's bits of drum computer you don't like you can quite easily use other VST to fill in those gaps or you can just full-on layer a drum computer with another drum plugin and for this we're obviously going to use excellent audios xl because that's basically my favorite drum plugin uh, but the big downside of EXO is that it has a very, very lackluster sequencer. And that's why I actually grabbed uh, Drum Computer, because it has a very cool sequencer. Uh, it does a lot of interesting stuff, like uh, changing the length of these bars. You can change the tempo of each bar, direction, randomization. You can create chains of up to 16 uh, different steps, which you can play around with and will play a little bit with the remix later on uh, but for now we'll just stick to this uh, setting up the uh, midi stuff in reaper at least is pretty simple you just drag the uh, routing from your drum computer onto whichever track is your other vst and in this case we don't send the audio and we just send the midi and that's it it is now routed. Well, it's now double routed because I already did it, but that's all there is to it. And now if we uh, mute the audio of drum computer, so we don't send that to the master, we will now have drum computer sequencer triggering XL.
And if you want to make it a little bit more specific and you want to say, I just want to double up the, uh, the kicks and the snares, for instance, and the hats, you can actually go into the settings and just say, I only want the kicks, uh, the hats and the snare. I forgot what snare was. Uh, that's MIDI free. I'm just going to turn off the other MIDI's. So now we just have kick, snare, and hi hat being. Which is pretty awesome, and because uh, the sequencer of drum computer is so much more interesting you can get some pretty interesting patterns going as well uh, using uh, the remix function down here and if i move over a little bit there's also an auto one and auto two which will change the uh, patterns And that's where I especially like drum computer. Uh, the sequencer is very nice. The rhythmization is very nice. Uh, it's very easy to get some interesting and functional results. And especially once you start layering, like I showed you, you can just layer like the bass drum. If you think it needs more oomph, you can just throw in a sample very easily uh, without having to mess around in drum computer. So that's cool. Um, yeah, it's very versatile, I would say. And so far, just with randomly messing around, I can already find a, a lot of interesting beats that would work with things. Uh, so let's just randomize a little bit more, get XO involved with randomization as well. So we have all the randomization we could ever desire and we'll just lead it out with that.
So that zero bytes drum computer is a sequencer for other plugins. And when layering it, I think it's one of the cooler plugins to, uh, to mess around with. Um, sadly, I did miss the uh, sale period to, uh, to publish this video. Uh, I was a little bit busy with other stuff. So uh, I unfortunately can't say it's only 70 bucks. It's back to its original price. So if that's too high for you, I can totally understand it. Uh, but it's definitely one to, to keep an eye on because in seal, especially once you start layering with it and start playing around with the sequencer, you can get some very, very good results. Uh, and if you think the routing thing is too much work, you can also just uh, drag drop mini straight out of it into another program as well. So a lot of versatility there. That's it for today, at least. If there are any questions about run computer, if, if you want to see a more in-depth uh, video talking about the synthesis in drum computer, that's totally a possibility. Just let me know down below and I uh, will see you around. See ya.